All right, guys, this is the cleanest honey in the world. It looks like honey, it smells like honey, and it tastes like honey. But this one does not come from a bee. It comes from the lab. This will fix the honey problem. This will save millions of bees. And this was made by these guys. Hi, my name is Ari. My name is Ophir. My name is Yaron. My name is Efrat. And, and we, we love, love honey. See, everybody loves honey, but we are running out of it. There are 20,000 types of bees, but only seven of them make honey. Seven! And these bees are dying because we are abusing them. By choosing only seven species over all the 20,000 different species, we are making those seven species very weak and very sensitive to viruses. Our entire planet depends on bees. 75% of agriculture is pollinated by bees. If there are no bees, then there is no more food. In fact, some say that Albert Einstein himself said this. If bees disappeared, humanity cannot survive more than four years. So how can we make honey without bees? Well, four friends in Israel have the answer. They started a company called BIO, which makes honey without a single bee. How? By building a stomach of a bee in our labs. You see, honey needs two things to be made. Nectar from a plant and protein from the stomach of a bee. And turns out, you can make both of these things right here in a lab. So they got the nectars from plants and they made the proteins from the bee using this machine. They mix protein and nectars for a few hours and come up with this real looking, real tasting honey. Okay, twins, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, born ready. Mm, wow. Mm. Wow, it's sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's oh amazing. My. Yeah, and it's, ah. the consistency is like real honey. Yeah? Same as honey, right? Yeah. That's it's cool. It's not so thick, it's not so thin. Yeah. So it's nice. Oh my god. Wow. How do you guys do this? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty of science. 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 This is a big deal. For the first time, we can make unlimited amounts of honey. This may look simple, but it's a very complex process. And it took us a hundred times to get this right. A bee can only make one out of twelfths of a teaspoon of honey in its entire life. But they, they can make three tons of honey in a week. We are able to produce honey in a matter of hours instead of seasons. We are able to shorten the production time and to do it very efficiently in a way that is cost effective. Now you can make unlimited honey from any plant in nature. This honey was made from a citrus flower. And this honey is very special. It was made from a coffee plant. Yeah, with this process, now it's possible to make honey from a coffee plant with its own caffeine. It gets even better. With this honey, you can make better tasting food, like this, this, and this, all made from plants. Be free. This is incredibly sweet. Mmm, like it? It's amazing. Now that we have honey, we can let bees live and do what they are supposed to do. Pollinate flowers, pollinate wildlife, and keep the circle of life going. The CTO's last name and the CEO's last name is Vash, which is honey in Hebrew. Is this like plant? It's completely coincidence. This company is the first to make bee-free honey, and we need to support them. They are working like bees to save the bees, because the bees they save will save the world.